Linux is an operating system, or OS, like Mac OS or Windows, and is the most popular open source and free in terms of freedom. OS. Linux is used in lots of places, from consumer products like TVs, computer networking gear, medical instruments, cloud storage facilities, and fridges. The Linux core, called a kernel, was born in a dorm at the University of Helsinki, 1991, at the hands of Linus Benedict Torvalds. Later, the Linux kernel was chosen to be used in Richard Stallman's GNU operating system, forming the infamous duo of GNU slash Linux. Linux offers one thing that corporations like Microsoft, Apple, or Google will never be able to provide. The freedom to do whatever you want with your computer. Linux is, and always was, developed mostly by independent volunteers. And thus, there's no single commercial entity controlling what goes into or out of Linux. Linux is also special because there's not just one Linux as is the case with Windows or Mac OS. Instead, we have something called distributions. A distribution, often called distro, is made by a company, organization, or individual that packages the Linux core with additional programs and tooling. Examples of distros include Arch, Kelly, and Ubuntu. However, many, many more distros exist. In fact, you can even create your own distribution. However, you'll likely want to use a popular one with a community of users around it that can show you the ropes and assist with problem solving. Some desktop computers and laptops ship with Linux pre-installed. However, you can install it on your own Windows or Mac computer. With this being said, you don't even need to disrupt your existing computer just to get an idea of how Linux works. In fact, if you own a Mac computer, you're actually in luck as Mac OS is officially a Unix trademark based OS. Unix, which stands for Uniplexed Information Computing System, is an OS from the 70s that was historically closed source and was developed by Ken Thompson and Dennis Ritchie, as well as others, at Bell Labs. If you own a Windows computer, Microsoft has an official Windows subsystem for Linux, which you can, and should, install on your Windows PC. This subsystem gives you the ability to run Linux in a simple, easy way on your PC. Another common way you might encounter Linux is through a virtual private cloud, or a VPC, such as on AWS or Azure. Next up, shells. A shell is a command interpreter that exposes users to an interface to work with the underlying operating system. The shell allows you to execute operations using text and commands, as well as provide you with advanced features, like being able to create scripts in a more optimized way than with a GUI, a graphical user interface. All shells originate from the Bourne shell, called SH, which was created by Steve Bourne in 1979 and was a proprietary closed source software. The Bash shell stands for Born Again Shell and was created in 1989 by Brian Fox as a free alternative for use in the GNU project. Since users had to pay for the Bourne shell, Bash became very popular and is the most common shell in use today. Over time, many different kinds of shells were created and a few of them dominate the space, including Bash, CSH, ZSH, and Fish. Now that you've been introduced to Linux, either open your Mac terminal or download the Windows subsystem. Let's explore the world of Linux. Thank you for watching.